Hey folks, it's Gary from Nova Scotia Act Fisher Outdoors. I'm just out here uh, about a 40 minute drive in some dirt, old dirt roads and uh, gonna do a little kayak camping trip on some crown land. But uh, in today's video, I thought I'd show you how to uh, offload and load a, a large kayak solo from the top of your vehicle. Uh, this one weighs nearly 100 pounds and is a bit of a bear. And uh, in order for me to use it uh, when I'm by myself, I had to figure out a way of getting it on and off. Uh, so I uh, hope that interests you. I uh, hope you find some useful hints and tips here. So anyway, stay tuned. And uh, hopefully the black flies don't carry me away. Whew. As you do with loading a kayak, the uh, first order of business is to uh, try to keep the flies, the black flies, from eating you alive. Um, I'm only experiencing minimal success for that at the moment. But uh, again, do a loop with your kayak strap. So you just pull that strap as tight as you can. Um, you can do it from the back or the front. Uh, however, if you do have a rudder, uh, I encourage you to bring either put it, you put it up back end first and you take it down front end first uh, because uh, uh, the rudder can get stuck in the ground uh, when you're trying to bring it off. But anyway, I'm gonna so you just bring your kayak around a little bit, get it on that strap that will save your vehicle and start sliding her down. She's off, no harm to my vehicle, and not overly uh, hard for me either. Uh, it's definitely easier with help. It's easier if you have a kayak trailer, but not all of us have that ability. So this is making the best of that situation without harming your vehicle. And it works out rather well, especially for taking off. So. All right, folks, I just finished a uh, grueling portage out from the lake that I uh, spent the last couple nights on. Uh, a lot of work to get a big heavy kayak into some of these spots, but if you're going to base camp once you're there and fish, that's perfect. Anyway, uh, now I'm going to go through the uh, loading procedure. It's much the same as the offloading, a little more difficult. Same thing though for both is uh, you make a loop around your rack, your bars.
Okay, that's you want it pretty tight, and you don't want any uh, of your hardware on your on your straps to be in the center because that could come down and scratch your vehicle. Uh, you'll notice that I brought the kayak in backwards from the cart. Uh, if you don't have a rudder, I don't think it really matters whether you go for front first or back. If you have a rudder, it sticks off the end. It's going to dig in the ground when you're trying to get it up off, on, and uh, you could do some damage to it. I never damaged it, but uh, it scared me enough that uh, that I, I adjust it my methods. Anyway, I'm going to try to get her up on. See if I have enough energy after that portage. All right. There, that's pretty well in my spot. Now I'll just strap her down like you would normally. And she's on. Uh, really easy, so. Way easier on the body than trying to ruckle it up there. You end up scratching your vehicle or sliding it on from behind. You're trying to put towels down. This is a way easier method. And uh, really I hope it helps get you out on the water more. If you're like me, you do shift work. You got four or five friends with these, but we can't always get out together. And uh, if I was just waiting until we had groups to go, I wouldn't get out very much. So this to me uh, works real well. So hope it helps you too. Well, there you have it, folks. Kayaks. I showed you the kayak going on, coming off. Uh, I hope it helps. It's definitely helped me. So uh, anyway, until next time, I'm Gary from Nova Scotia Yak Fisher Outdoors. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. And, and uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Love to see your comments as well. Maybe you have some uh, little uh, hints and twerks to, in order to get your kayak on. This one works for me. Uh, it was a real struggle the first year or so I had a, a predator. Uh, I didn't want, I, I wouldn't go unless I had someone to help me get it on and, and someone to help me get it off in most cases. Uh, maybe once or twice, but once I figured out a method that worked that wasn't scratching my vehicle all up and, and uh, wasn't too hard on the body, uh, it's got me out more. So anyway, until next time, I'm Gary. We'll see you in the woods. Get out there and explore. And uh, hopefully you're not having the heat wave that we are here in Nova Scotia. Third day in a row with a heat warning. Good Lord. Bye folks. <laughs>